welcome to the 12th of July. I have uploaded a vlog. I'm trying desperately to catch up with uploading my vlogs. But today, we are on a mission. Today, I am going to go and drop off some of my bags to Twice Loved in Glasgow, which is a luxury secondhand shop or pre-loved whatever you like to call it let me show you my goodies so i have decided to take one two three four five six bags i've already messaged linda the owner of the shop about certain ones but i've just decided to add another couple just to see what she thinks of them so the majority are gucci so i've got this Gucci bowling bag just here. I don't have a dust bag for that or I can't find a dust bag for that one. Um, Actually, I've got another bag. I think I'm going to take this furler one as well. See what she thinks of that. I don't think I've even ever used that one. Okay, so that's that one there. That's what that looks like. I'm going to take that as well. I forgot about that one. And in here I have a Mulberry which can be used as actually it's a really comfortable bag to use as a clutch, like a big squishy clutch. So that's what that looks like and it has a deta detachable handle there, adjustable fastenings here, it's very squishy and yeah, it's kind of a, a messenger type of bag. I think that's what it was called, the Mulberry Messenger. So that's that one there. I have this Gucci one here, which at the moment are quite um, popular on the second hand market. It's almost like a boat type bag. So, and as you can see, they're all in pretty good condition. And I've also got all the bits and pieces that come with the bags inside. So that's that one. I may have got the dust bags mixed up over the years. And I, there's no way of knowing now. I've got a Stuart Weitzman bag here as well, which was from Russell and Bromley. So I just thought, just might as well take it so that's kind of what that one looks like oops where's the fastening the fastening reminds me very much there we go what does that remind you of there we go okay so that's that one so that's an evening bag i just thought i'm taking the rest i'll just take that one as well we have another gucci here which looks like that and then we have my Mew Mew bag, which I reviewed a very long time ago. I think I spoke about this Mew Mew, did I, in one of my recent videos? Maybe I was going to speak about it and decided not to, but anyway, that's the Mew Mew one there as well. Yeah, I think I did. I think I spoke about my low-key bags and recognising Mew Mew from the quilting. Anyway, that's it there right need to get organized i'll do a quick outfit as well before we go and i'll probably chat to you in the car oh and i asked rico to get me a bag to put all the bags in and he thought it was very amusing to bring me a pre-mark bag to store luxury bags in he thought he that that just tickled him he thought that was funny because here you are had the perfect bag for you Okay, here we are. Quick outfit before we go. So this is my top from NYX, the same as the one I got in khaki. I have my Chanel walk, which now that I've put it on, I remember how much I absolutely love it. On my feet, I have my Chanel ballet flaps. And jeans are my Zara jeans, which are really cheaply made. And basically, oh, glasses, I decided just for a wee change to put the Celine sunglasses on. Not had these on for a while either. So that's the outfit for today. And of course, we have the obligatory uh, face mask. This was from Etsy. I can't remember who the seller was, but good mask. Okay, Lily, you can't come, okay? But we won't be long. Okay, Lily, Mo. Right, Mummy loves you, okay? So we've arrived in Glasgow and uh, the streets are a lot busier. See all the people. Well, this is the West End, isn't it? And 
just now people you're not not allowed to dine in yet are they Rico? No. no so there's a lot of people sitting out dining and drinking so yeah things certainly looking a little different but so just over there we have the botanic gardens which seem to be rather busy there we go not many people wearing masks outside Artichokes. <laughs> <laughs> I know my artichokes are dying. Prepare to take a right turn. Looking at people out and about, it almost feels normal, and that's a scary thing. That's the scary thing. It actually isn't. Okay, so that's the shop just there. Twice loved. It's closed after all that. It's closed after packing my bags. Never mind. I've just messaged the owner and she now opens. It must be something to do with the changes, must be something to do with um, the virus. So I have. I her opening and closing times must have changed but I've just messaged her and she says she's now open um, Tuesday to Saturday so we'll probably come in next Saturday we'll just keep the bags all packed and ready so that was a bit of a disappointment but we've still got a few things to do Rico's got a couple of things to pick up prawns and I want to stop at Boots on the way back so to pick up some youth creams which I'm running out of. Okay, the mask is on, but do you know what? I just um, need to be careful with these masks. I've got my Chanel earrings on, and yeah, something to be aware of with masks. Right, let's go. Is that one in? Oh, right, let's go and get my stuff from Boots. I can fill a Boots hole. So we uh, we can't see any testers. Okay, that's us finished in boots. I've got a tiny little bit of footage which you will have seen. The shelves and everything are empty. You can't even open packaging to see. The stock is really, really low, even on Estelada. So it wasn't just online. I remember, you know, right at the beginning of lockdown when I was trying to buy things online and it was really hard. It's the same when you come into the shop as well. So yeah um new colors are being launched tomorrow for chanel but you can't even they won't even open she was saying well they were saying at chanel they can't even open the packaging so you can see the actual no one what it looks like in the bottle so i did suggest to her that they all paint their nails with the different colors so we could at least see them so we'll see um so now I'm desperate for one of the blues. It looked like a dark blue and a light blue. I took some footage of that as well because I just got them like on a poster. So it's the light blue that I am interested in. Anyway, we are now on our way home. Rico's gonna barbecue some chops and I'm gonna have a lovely glass of something pink and sparkly when I get home. Hello and welcome to Monday the 13th of July. I am on my way to my hairdressers to see all the new changes she has made. She said I can go in and vlog because she's put screens in between seats. She's had to take seats away but we'll talk about that when we get there. Hairdressers are officially allowed to open on Wednesday so a lot of businesses are now reopening on Wednesday. Today I think shopping centres are allowed to open as well so like I've said in other vlogs you know the changes have been made a lot more slower up here and you know so we don't have the same rules and regulations as the rest of the UK so for example down south it's not compulsory to wear a mask when you go into a shop or enclosed environments whereas up here it is compulsory to wear masks which is actually better because it just means everybody's doing the same thing and me personally I feel a lot safer when people are 
wearing masks and people are still taking care because I just feel now with all the easing people are starting to ease like I keep saying the virus is still out there but I do see a change in people they're not as careful as they were and some people just need to have the law laid down I'm afraid because common sense it just doesn't kick in okay right so I'll get you once we're in the hair. So here we are we're in the salon and uh, yeah actually I think the changes look much better so I'll get Anne Marie she'll talk us she's actually just talked me through everything as you can see she's now got screens in between the chairs this used to be a seat here and she's now put a screen to separate the customers the seat that she's lost here she's moved here this used to be her waiting area but um she's got two seats but she doesn't plan to use these two seats so we've agreed this is for me and this is for my handbag <laughs> <laughs> so this this has worked out perfectly for me so this is a section here for a hairdresser this is her color section just here and this used to be Anne Marie's chair Anne Marie is here there she is there <laughs> so this used to be her section but she is now going to move down a section here so she's not close to this chair here and she's going to change it just slightly here and make a waiting area there although you're not really planning to have people waiting around no, are you when we're allowed to i'll change the desk to a smaller desk and have a nice sofa overnight and keep this area all for work rather than splitting and having the reception area and amongst the girls working so this is all going to be just work in here and then the reception area out there eventually right okay and here you were showing me like you've got it all prepared and ready here for your stylists yeah yep, so you've got on the chair the girls with their visors and their face masks they have each section each stylist has their own anti-back spray wipes and hand gel so between clients they'll spray everything down with the anti-back they have the wipes so they're prepared for the next client and they've got the hand gel to use constantly throughout the day although most of the time they'll be wearing gloves right and here you've got a mask ready and, and a, visor. a visor so are you and the stylist going to wear both both I think it's going to be a better idea from what I'm hearing when you wear just the visor with us breathing, you steam up, which isn't going to be ideal doing people's hair. So I'm thinking on the lines of the mask will kind of stop as much breath being expelled onto the visor so therefore it won't steam up. We'll just, we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, so absolutely. Because it's by ear and see how it works for us basically. Because it's as new for you as it is for absolutely. the customers as it is for everybody. So yeah, you've, I mean, you've, you're pretty much ready for Wednesday, aren't you? Yeah, yeah and you're. Chock a block. Chock a block for about the first month. Yeah, and you're having to work Sundays as yeah. well just to Sundays catch up. Sunday off as normal as a Tuesday. I won't be having that anymore just to catch up and get back yeah. to something like normal. Because that's what it is. It's quite personal with your hairdressers. Yeah, I don't want anything to feel uncomfortable. I want yeah. people to come in and feel comfortable, know that everything's in place, and know that they're safe coming to get their hair done. Yeah, that's right. And that's. That's what it's about, isn't it? So yeah, yeah it's looking lovely. Seeing that this, not all your stylists are going to be in at the same time. No, or? the girls are going to be staggered. Staggered hours and staggered days so that there's not too many people in the salon at the one time. Yeah. And you make people feel safe and comfortable. The other changes we have here is we've got the disposable gown. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, That's the gown. And gown. then also a disposable cape and a disposable towel so all very new so nothing is being reused or even washed what if you wash things at 60 degrees is that not i think just maybe for the first couple of months anyway i've got plenty of stock of them i'm going with the one use per client then bin and then we have to dispose of them appropriately mm -hmm. we're still waiting on guidelines for local council to find out if there's going to be a different uplift for these things i'm not really sure how that's going to work but for the first few while, I'm going to be using all disposable products until everybody kind of knows where we are and then we can start to put other things in place from then. Right, so big, big changes. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning and welcome to the 14th of July. Can we hear Lily there in the background? Come here, Lily. Lily is going to the groomers today. She's a little bit anxious, aren't you, Lily? Uh-huh. You need your wee grooming. So I'm going to drop her off so she can get her grooming done her monthly groom 
and as you can hear she's not happy are you so we're a little early and you know things rules and regulations you can't be early you can't be late because you know you can't meet up with other people as they're coming in and we have to put them in put them in a crate now leave them then the groom will pick them up and so on and so forth so this protocol that has to be abided by at the moment so <laughs> look at her run away so she sees the camera look this one does so everybody my beautiful beautiful girl yeah look at my beautiful girl yep and now I'm going to catch up with my housework. So I am going to clean downstairs. I just opened up the uh, sitting room door. Look, is this not ridiculous? Look, you can still see the hoover marks. And I'm going to come in here and clean this room. Honestly, pathetic, I know. But I'm just waiting for my phone now. As soon as I come in, I put everything in my little disinfectant machine. And you know, the good thing about these machines is like if you put a mask in, it leaves a lovely aroma scent to the mask. I didn't realize that. I know it's got like a, an incense button, but I didn't actually thought you had to maybe put in some sort of aroma oil or something in it to give it that smell, but apparently not. Because, and I didn't realize when I put my mask on after I sanitized it, Oh, those filters must have a nice smell in the street. Could you, have you noticed what these filters is like? No, because he didn't sanitise his mask. Anyway, I don't normally sanitise my mask. I just needed it again. I didn't have another one. So I sanitised it to re-wear it. I normally just wash them. Just, I was wearing this one today because I've kind of run out of mask. I'm going to go onto Etsy now and order some more. Look at this. See lipstick marks? Think, look, smudges your lipstick all around your lips as well. So I'm going to go to Etsy and I like my other pink one that I ordered from Etsy which I can't remember where I ordered it from because I like the fit of that one. So I'm going to order, see I've touched that now, but anyway I'm going to, I'm going to sanitise it and then put it into wash but I'm going to put my keys in, it's my phone ready. So it's my phone all sanitised, I want to sanitise my hands before I get my phone out then I'm going to sanitise my keys which are down there, I don't put anything like on other surfaces I just put everything on the floor and I'm just gonna sanitize that I know I'm paranoid I know but that's the way I am so can't help it I just want the virus to go away keep saying it in the hope that it'll bloody go away right let's get jacket off stuff sanitized and um clean downstairs good morning and welcome to the 15th it is, it's the 15th, Wednesday the 15th. More places are opening up today, so hairdressers are all back today, back to work. So I am meeting my friend Marilyn for a walk. We get together and have a walk. But before I go for a walk, I'm gonna tackle these bad guys. Just now get that ironed, which means I don't have to do it when I come back. So that's it, everything else is organized. There's a washing in. Weather is just dull. Just, bleh. that's all I can say about it. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get that done and then meet up with Marilyn. And I've got a couple of videos that I want to do as well, but I'm still trying to get all the vlogs updated. My little vegetable patch down there, doing good, doing good. Okay, let's get the ironing done. Let's get the TV on while we're watching. While we're ironing, we're going to watch the TV. And at the weekend, my babies are arriving from Milton Keynes. Yay! 